As this year's mega cap momentum has been under some recent pressure, but our next guest still sees technical trouble ahead and more upside in one of this year's lagging sectors. Joining us now is BTIG's Jonathan Krinsky. Jonathan, uh, good to see you. Well, you know, I started this hour by essentially asking, um, you know, can a localized pullback in just the, the big NASDAQ stocks be enough to refresh this market? What do you see in terms of the NASDAQ, which is now down NASDAQ 100, three and a half percent off its high? Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, it's not a coincidence that we got the NASDAQ and many components of the biggest components within the NASDAQ back into the area of the late 2021, early 2022 highs. We started to stall out and now we're seeing, you know, some early evidence of, of maybe some waning momentum and even some downside momentum in some of those key names. Um, obviously, Apple front and center uh, selling off pretty, uh, pretty definitively breaking its year-to-day uptrend post its earnings. But there's a big, big important support there around 176, 178, kind of right where we're trying to uh, bottom today. So I think, you know, this week will be telling um, if Apple can hold this zone and, and resume back up, then, you know, no damage done to the bigger structure. But a failure at this at this uh, what is major support would be a, a pretty good indication that things are pretty tired um, in, you know, in those mega cap tech names. You know, recently, obviously, it's been more a matter of the market being able to rotate away from danger where it popped up and, and keeps keep itself supported on the S&P level. What are you seeing in that regard, whether, in fact, there's enough uh, kind of diversified strength uh, in the tape to uh, to keep us here? Yeah, I mean, I think rotation is, is happening. Um, you know, the issue is, given the size and weighting of, of tech, Pretty, you know, where tech goes kind of drives the S&P. But I think, uh, you know, if you're not beholden to the S&P, there is some opportunity. We've been highlighting energy over the last couple of weeks, starting to show some renewed strength. Uh, I mean, if you think about last year, it was kind of the opposite, where, you know, tech did awful and energy was the only sector doing well. This year, energy is about flat year to date, even with the recent rally, while tech's up 40 percent. So we think some rotation back into energy is making sense. Obviously, you have uh, crude breaking above eighty dollars, eighty two, eighty three is pretty important resistance. But if you get through that, we think it opens the door into the high eighties for crude. And then today, you're actually seeing a, a potential breakout in natural gas as well. So you got a lot of things working for energy. Um, you know, whether it's the you know the XLE or kind of the e down down cap, some of the EMP names are starting to work. So we think there's um, opportunity there below the surface. I just don't know if that's enough to you know support the S and P given the weightings there.